I am going to show you some ways to make your renders look cinematic with the help of these five things. So let's launch Blender. Lighting is the most important part of a scene. It can make your renders look cinematic, dull, and even washed out. The best way to light your scene is to never place your light in front of your subject. You can put one behind and another on top, or at 45 degrees on both sides. The backlight creates highlights to separate your subject from background, and a light at top gives a dark cinematic vibe. One more thing is to use planes with emission shader. These have more control and you can even play with the shader. Now next is camera. If your scene is an environment and you are trying to show a scene rather than a subject, use 26 mm focal length, and if you want to make something about a character or subject, use 80 or 75 mm focal length, it will make your subject close. There will be no circular effect in high focal lengths, and even in real life directors prefer high focal lengths for cinematic result. Now next is depth of field. In camera settings, enable depth of field, change the ratio to two, blades to eight, and here you can adjust the blur. I would prefer using values less than one. You can select your object from here and in the viewport. Under these settings, enable depth of field so you can play with it easily. These settings can create cool background effects. Next is to add fog. You can add it in the world tab or add a cube. Add a volume scatter and make its value to 0.01 .01 and that's it. Now for a cherry on the top. Add effects such as lens dirt and distortion. You can simply do that in Blender by making a new file. Open Compositor, add a mix color and add your image below. You can get these types of images from Unsplash. Add those with image node at the top. Change this to add and see the results. You can change this to see what's best for you. And after that, do some color grading and you are done. And if you want to know more about lighting, check out this video.